I mean, I used uh, a lot of Saul Leader photographs who took all these, he was fashion photographer, but he took these street photographs in the 30s and 40s. And he, interestingly enough, he came from a Hasidic family or an Orthodox family, but he processed it in this special dye transfer. They're beautiful photographs of people, reflections and mirrors, and, you know, uh, anonymous people. And that, and I took this Italian still life painter, Morandi, who does all these beautiful still lives, and I used that as kind of a color scheme. And I thought, you know, you, you, know, you want to go into this like special world, uh, like all well, the stripes that in the Hasidic community, which is true, then the, it's echoed in Fioravante's character, you know. And so I tried to use things from from real life. I did a lot of research and with the street walking aspect and also with the Hasidic because I thought I needed one religion, either Muslim, either Catholic. Usually it's always about a nun. It's always about a nun. But the whole idea of head covering, I, I really find fascinating. And I think when someone's head is covered, you know, why, you know, there's this whole fear that if the woman's head is uncovered, she's going to run rampant. And it pervades through a lot of the world still to this day. And even in cultures that don't have that as much, maybe it's a different kind of culture, but there's a fear that if, you know, uh, of a woman being too free or something. So I thought, wow, that, that would be really strong if, if she's kind of a metaphor, you know, for that. And in the course of this crazy idea, these two people meet and something occurs, you know, between them that is really big because She's whatever age she is. She has six kids, but she's like she's 18 years old. She's never been courted. She's never been looked at. She's never kind of opened up and say, "This is who I am." And someone's saying, "Wow, you're, you're a fantastic person." She just was given, and it's a big part of life. And I think that that's something that's, and even Sharon's character, she's kind of imprisoned in her rich world, but in a different way. Sophia is not so. Uh, uh, but that's, you know, you want to have a balance. But so these are things that interested me, and uh, I'm interested in relationships, And but the idea of how everyone can be lonely, even if you're in a relationship, uh, sometimes people go outside of it for adventure or for something else, and how that never, that's an unceasing need throughout life, whatever age you are, you're this age now, but, you know, you could be 70 years from now, you could have lost someone or whatever and you have to reinvent yourself and you're still looking for someone to connect with or to 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 be in the dark with and then that 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 i that idea of you know like a two feet in the dark you know that that never stops then that, that's part of our life besides you know besides warmth and safety and food you know uh uh a big part of our lives and I think uh, so uh, you know I, I wanted to put this in a, into an entertaining movie uh, and Woody encouraged me to to really delve deeper because originally my idea was very broad and crazy and stuff and I had a lot of great ideas but I they, they weren't uh, they just they weren't working in in conjunction with one another and that character I feel like with the combination of Vanessa me being so fortunate enough to having cast her and listening to my agent, Christina Bazdikas, introduce me to her and seeing her work with her just innate, I don't know, gracefulness or whatever she, you know, she has or a delicacy. It made it into a character that almost went beyond the movie. It's, it's like a character that you feel like, well, what you really, like when I was finishing editing, like, well, what's going to happen to her? You know, I really care about her, you know, and I think that because we stumbled on is something that's that's real that's a big part of life you know even though it's explained this way you know uh, so uh, sometimes you know in a comedy you can be really you can actually if it's not silly and it's not sentimental and it's not a greeting card you can actually stumble onto something yeah. but it's a fine balance